In this video, I'll show you how you can conduct your class 1 for the play type of seed CTP. Uh, just a reminder, for class 1, you have 20 minutes to conduct this portion of the project. And I am using the teacher's guide from the FTP server to help walk you through the steps. So when you finish the textbook portion of your class, uh, you'll need to ask your students to uh, close their gallery books and their practice books, and then open up their CTP books. Uh, and then you click on the CTP class from April Gate. And this cover page will load up. Uh, students have the same pages on their CTP books, so you don't need to print out the scripts for everyone. Uh, you just want to have the teacher's copy, and uh, it's always nice to have maybe a few extra copies in case the student forgets to bring their books and etc. So the first thing uh, you always do when you start a play type CTP is a game or an activity. The game this project is uh, calling for in the teacher's guide is a survey of students' favorite fruit. So I'm going to utilize the blackboard function for this. And perhaps we can ask our students, okay, so what is your favorite fruit? And someone might say apple, someone might say orange, and someone says grapes. Okay, so let's take a vote. So who likes apples? And maybe only two people likes apples. Uh, maybe we can ask, okay, so who likes oranges? And maybe three people like oranges and maybe you can say okay so who likes grapes then and there are seven people who like grapes okay so we can say our class's favorite fruit is we can, they can say grapes so that's uh, one way to conduct a survey uh, as it's written on the teacher's guide uh, you can modify the games or, an, or the activity slightly if you would like so we can also play games like this so each student tells me his or her favorite fruit. So we can say, okay, so someone likes apple. Someone, like, someone likes orange. We have kiwi. We have strawberry. And Julie likes grapes. Jennifer likes banana, Daniel likes watermelon, and Tommy likes cherry. And what we're going to do is make a bracket and find our class's favorite fruit that way. Okay, so we can take a vote. Okay, who likes apples? Who likes oranges? And seven people likes apples and only two people likes oranges. Okay, and we have kiwis versus strawberries and strawberry wins. So on and so forth. Keep moving on through the bracket. Okay. And we can say, oh wow, apples win. So apple is our class's favorite fruit. We can play a game like that. So once you're done playing your game or an activity, uh, you can go back to the cover page and ask the students what the title is and who the characters are. You might want to follow that up with uh, other leading questions like, okay, so how many boys or how many girls are in this play? It is important to briefly discuss the characters in this play because uh, the, it will be different each time. Uh, between the warm-up activity and discussing the cover page, I would recommend you spend about six minutes here. From here, you can move on to the next page. And it will bring you to the script itself. Uh, you can think of this as uh, something similar to the passage reading as far as the methodology is concerned. So you can talk about the pictures first to predict what the script is going to be all about. Uh, you can ask them questions like, who is this person? Who is this person? Etc. You can also ask them maybe, okay, so where are they? What are they going to buy? Things like that. Uh, so once you're done with your leading questions, you can 
listen to the entire passage by clicking on this purple button here and then you want to you want to have your students listen and repeat line by line so go ahead and do that afterwards move on to the next page and then repeat the same steps talk about the picture ask them some questions listen to the entire passage and listen and repeat line by line so after you're done with that uh, go back to the previous page and you want to practice the entire script together as a class I recommend that you spend about 10 minutes doing all this and that should leave you about maybe four minutes for the last part of class one uh, which is assigning groups and roles to the students uh, young students can be very sensitive about choosing roles and being assigned to groups so you need to be careful uh, if you have the same number of boys and girls you can perhaps divide the up divide up the teams by gender if the students prefer that uh, you can also randomize it by utilizing the group function or perhaps a draw function. So uh, once you assign the students with their roles, uh, make sure they know which characters they're playing. Uh, you can make sure of this by perhaps circling their characters on their CTP books and reminding them to practice and try to memorize it at home as part of their homework. Okay? And make sure you keep a copy of their roles and all the groups uh, because you don't want to forget it for the next class. Once you're done all this, you're ready for class number two.